What's up, P Nation? In this video, we're going to talk about how expensive is Antarctica. We have been to seven continents. Just kidding. We've only been to four. <laughs> You'd think Antarctica would have been the seventh. It's yes, the but fourth. it is. It is the fourth. And we're going to get into how expensive it is when we to our station because it is our tradition to take you guys around the world and see how much it is to go there. And now we have made it into the galley where we eat all of our food mm -hmm. and it is all free. Whee! So there's no buying food here. There's no restaurant to go to. Date night is basically in the same place. You can <laughs> order a pizza, I guess, and take it to your room. That's Which a thing. Which is also free. <laughs> That's also free. Snacks are all free. Literally, free. all food is free. It's so free. in this part of the video where we normally free. tell you how much meals are, it's free. free. So the amount of work it takes to get these fresh vegetables down here is ridiculous. You have to fly them in huge cargo planes it's like thousands of pounds worth of vegetables. And there's, I mean, on average, there's been like a thousand people here. Yeah. In the for the past like three months. Mm -hmm. So to feed a thousand people fresh for vegetables. three meals a day with fresh goods is a lot. And we just like cherish them so much. Oh my gosh, yeah. We only get <laughs> fresh vegetables probably two dozen times a year because it takes such an effort to be able to purchase that many vegetables at one time mm -hmm. and then put them on a plane and then for the plane not to get delayed so then they don't rot and they get here in time and then we have them long enough. So when we do have fresh stuff, it is amazing. So good. But all food is free. So here at the coffee house, coffee is free and there's actually an espresso machine. So in the main galley, there's only just regular drip brewed coffee and it's brewing all day long but if you want something special like a latte or a cappuccino or an espresso shot to really get you going you can come here at scheduled hours when there's a trained barista on station and it's all free and you just have to tip because you know you tip your barista and it's super wonderful and it's just like it makes your day so much better when you get that really nice good cup of coffee and it just makes you feel like you're at home so now on to transportation so you might be thinking, why would you need to go anywhere? Where is there to go? <laughs> but this town's actually kind of big. So most of the time you'd just be walking from wherever you live to wherever you work, to the galley, back to wherever you live, back to wherever you work. And that's in, within walking distance. But sometimes you need to shuttle places and there is an entire shuttle team that will take you wherever you need to go. So like if you have a bunch of luggage or if you have a bunch of cargo, you can like call them and be like, hey, I need to get to the X, Y, and Z place and they'll come pick you up. It's super easy and it's super efficient and it's super fun, but primarily you'd be walking everywhere. You can also rent bikes. They are free. They're all around town. You can usually borrow one and put it back. But again, walking is your best bet. To accommodation it's free because you live here but usually if you come back for like your second or third season you have kind of like a dibs on or a preference I guess of like which building you'd like to be in most likely if you're a newcomer you're gonna be in the main galley with like three other roommates which is kind of stinky but Zach and I because we're a couple we came down together so they set us up with our own room which is really nice we got to make it like our little home it's pretty dorm style living so you're with a community you see people from work you see people from the community all the time you're never alone it's a lot of fun it's like being back in college but it's free this is one of our common lounge areas it is home sweet home we have a TV we have trash we have recycling it's a great gathering spot and we watch so many movies in here with friends it's been a great time and if you're really looking to save money, which we always are, this is the most free place on station. It's called Skua Central. And Skua is actually the name of a native bird down here, and it's a scavenger. So that's really funny that they named the Skua because like, everybody just puts free stuff in here that they don't need anymore. And so that other people can use it again and again and again. So it's pretty much our station's goodwill, and it's amazing, and you can find so much cool stuff in here. Books, clothes, socks, shoes, costumes, anything and everything is always in Skua. 
Okay, and now on to activities. As you can see behind me, there are thousands of board games to play here. There's also over 3,000 different movies on VCR and DVD for everyone to rent. They're all free. And then if you want really, really nice board games, you can go to what we call Gear Issue and rent board games for $20 and you get your deposit back later. You can also get really cool costumes for parties here and snowboards and skis to ski down the mountain or go cross country skiing. In addition to this, we have scheduled activities every single week. So there's yoga classes, there's karaoke every other Friday. Science Talks, which we have every single Sunday, which is where a scientist that's an expert in their field gives a science talk about what they're doing, what research has just happened, what they've done in the past, and they give about an hour-long presentation to the entire McMurdo community. And there's really too many things to do here at McMurdo. You don't have enough time to do everything, so you really have to pick and choose what you want to do. And in addition to all these things that we just mentioned, there are clubs like Chess Club, Finance Club, Volleyball Club, Open Basketball, Knitting Club, and Letter Writing Club, which it's crazy that's a thing, but a lot of people like to letter write, and you can go to all these events, but you definitely don't have time, so you gotta pick and choose. For letter writing and sewing club, you can go to this place we like to call the craft room, and they have all kinds of different supplies, from metal for soldering, to sewing, to getting Velcro on something that didn't even need it. You can do anything you wanna do in the craft room. It's a really useful tool to fix clothes, make backpacks, and basically create art. And one of my favorite things to do every week is go to yoga, which is a lot of fun and really necessary down here because the environment really takes a toll on your body and doing the same thing every day kind of wears you out and stretching is the kind of therapy I need to get back to normal. So this place has many traditions to go along with the attraction sections of this video. There is a music festival called Ice Stock and it happens on New Year's Eve going into New Year's Day every single year. It's chock full of bands. There's so much talent down here. The entire played. band room. Mm -hmm. So it's like so much musical talent is just it just comes together. There's so many different people and it's amazing. There's so many people down here that are willing to like spend so much time getting bands together. It's so cool. And so they have this huge music festival pretty much all day long. It starts at three o'clock and it goes until like 1 a.m., 2 a.m. It's so awesome. We had so much fun this year. I was in it this year. It was so cool. I was so excited to be a part of it. Me and my buddy Lance from work, we got together with this other guy. And it was just so much fun. It is such a cool experience. I saw the dancers don't mind at the New Orleans. If you tip them in, they make a cut. We're gonna do it. Take your mama out all makes sense because we're pretty much in the United States down here and it's Wells Fargo and I haven't used it once because we brought a lot of money. Okay, now we are in the McMurdo Station store. It's got everything. Yeah. It has snacks. It has life. It provides soap. It provides shampoo, toothpaste, t-shirts, anything you want. It is here. It's not inexpensive but it's not super expensive either. Oreos, six dollars. Nutter Butters for five dollars. Zeon's favorite cookie, four dollars. Reese's Pieces, one dollar. M&M's, one dollar. Peanut M&M's, one dollar. Snickers, one dollar. Vegan cookies, two dollars. Nutella, four dollars. Cheaper than usual. Beef jerky, four dollars. Antarctica bathrobe, forty-five dollars. Lufa is only two dollars. Toothpaste, four dollars. It's your toothpaste, five dollars. Didn't know floss was different, but unwax is a dollar and wax is two dollars. An essential oh, item down here. Petroleum jelly, twelve dollars. And there's only ladies' deodorant from two to four dollars. Soap that changes monthly, only a dollar. One toothbrush is four dollars. Oh, and we got a special. 
three for a dollar. An assortment of medicines ranging from four to six to seven dollars. A plastic model of Ivan the Terror Bus, twelve dollars. T-shirts, approximately fifteen dollars. Postcards, all one dollar. Stickers are a really big thing down here. A lot of people bring some down with them and they're really fun, but you can buy some for one to three dollars. An essential item around here, sunscreen, because the sun never goes down and you will burn ten to eleven dollars. Old school alarm clock, approximately ten dollars. My favorite laundry detergent because it smells so good, $19. We have thermal underwear for $5, which is super cheap. And if you haven't seen our video of us camping, this is a necessity out there. You should definitely watch it. All 12 packs of soda are $6. LaCroix, only 50 cents. You can only get two per day because there's a ration on station because everybody loves hipster water. Now that we've done all of our shopping, let's go see the galley. And now we're back for dinner. We got coleslaw, fries, couscous, and an amazing burger that looks so good. So good. Thank you so much for watching How Expensive is Antarctica. We covered so many things. How expensive is food, it's free. How expensive is transportation, it's free. How much are activities, they're also free. free. So a lot of Antarctica is free if you can make it down here, which is the hardest part. We really love making this video, it was so much fun. We love Antarctica. Thank you for watching. Alcohol. Oh, scrrr.